moisturizing because I have really dry skin. So I think that's the only thing that does it for me, moisturizing and drinking lots of water. Mine is really basic, but um, like I said, I do believe in moisturizing. So in the mornings would be lots of sunblock, a lip balm. Um, I love blush and mascara. So that's my go-to look. And in the evening before I go to bed, um, I make sure to cleanse, wash my face, moisturize, a nice eye cream and lip balm. I think cleansing is important, removing your makeup. I think I'm... Um, very very particular about that I have to remove my makeup after a shoot just to feel clean and drinking lots of water and staying hydrated I think sugar and um, excessive oil or you know find your foods that are comfortable for you and um, work for your skin I have a green juice that I feel really um, hydrates me and works for my skin Yeah, so right now I've been actually using a lot of vegan products, um, skincare, whether it's makeup or just creams that um, don't use animals in their testing and animal free. Uh, being happy and um, honestly, I feel like when I moisturize my skin, it automatically glows. So whether it's sunblock or anything, it just helps and adds that glow and blush. Mm, lip balm. Uh, yeah, this is actually completely natural, does not involve makeup. It's taking beetroot and mashing it up and then applying it on your cheeks as a tint. Nothing I've really hated. Actually, I don't know if this was a trend or it was a mistake that I saw, but somebody had white eyelashes. So I don't know if that was like a trend. Was that a trend ever? No, it was probably a mistake, but like colored lashes. I've never understood that. made of everything in my fridge. I, that's all I've done during lockdown. I've just made face masks and put it on my face. So one was an avocado and yogurt uh, face mask. Another was a honey and lime um, face mask, uh, papaya and lime and yogurt. So just different things that I could come up with. A sunblock, a lip balm, an eyelash curler, mascara, and blush. Um, I'm totally for it because I feel like everybody is promoting um, just also beauty in terms of just being comfortable in your own skin and I, I truly believe less is more just to be um, if you're doing like heavy eyes, then keep it simple on the lips. If you're doing simple lips, then keep it heavy on the eyes, just something like that. But also um, in terms of where brands are going with their products, their ingredients, I totally believe in sustainability and um, just being caring and notice the environment. Um, very, I think it's a huge um, platform in which I feel so many young girls just look at you out there and think that this is what you wake up looking like and that's absolutely not true because you have so many filters these days. You can pick and choose and make your own filters which I think is also really scary. Um, but I feel it's important to also just know that um, not everybody looks perfect, nobody looks perfect and I think um, being imperfect is actually being perfect. Um, yeah, in terms of, I just, like I said, I feel like people, even in lockdown, I saw that so many people came out with their insecurities, spoke about um, skin color, spoke about skin type and just body types and just are more accepting as well. Um, so definitely, yeah. 
I did. I feel growing up, everybody has insecurities. I had insecurities. I was always very, very conscious um, about how tall I was because I was always the tallest. I was taller than all the boys. Um, so that's always something I struggled with. But now I feel like when I'm not the tallest in the room, I feel weird. I'm like, okay, maybe am I looking short? Like I need heels. So I like being tall now. I think it's an inner battle and it's more... Um, you have to kind of overcome it yourself. I can tell you, you look beautiful. I can tell you, you're perfect the way you are. But I feel it's kind of something, a switch that has to go off inside where suddenly you feel like, you know, I'm comfortable. Whether it's an incident that takes place or um, a picture that you take where you're like, oh, I like my body or I'm comfortable. So it's, it's very internal. I don't think you can tell someone how to be or how to feel. drink lots of water and I feel like exercise um, and just eat right I feel like even if you're binge eating then exercise and have that balance in life yeah, I recently started yoga during the lockdown and um, I never took to it before but I feel now it's just become a part of me and I realize that I really really enjoy it besides weight training so yeah that's another workout that I that I really enjoy doing Uh, I think meditating. Um, it's taken me a while to get there and kind of just sit, sit still and be still. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm more comfortable with my own thoughts now and I can just enjoy stillness. Mm -hmm.